Hello, my name is Simon Davis. Today we're going to look at a great Australian song, Short Note by Matt Finish. Um, in particular, we're going to have a look at the guitar solo, uh, which comes near the end of the song at about 3 minutes 30 seconds in. Um, and uh, what I'll do is play it through firstly, and then uh, we'll break it down bit by bit. basically a, a sort of E pentatonic blues uh, scale that he starts off on um, uh, around the seventh and ninth frets. Um, the first uh, phrase is this. Um, so that's a, a climb up the blues scale. It sounds simple but it's just beautiful the way um, he plays it and the place he plays it at in the song as well. Um, so start off on uh, the uh, E string 5th fret, which is an A note. Um, then play the E string 7th fret and slide up to the 9th fret. Um, that last note on the 9th fret is a bit of a ghost note. You don't hear much of it. Uh, it sort of slides past it really. So, uh, just uh, slowly that bit. Um, then he lands on um, the uh, seventh fret of the A string um, and plays this little hammer on uh, from A7 to A9 to D7. And then he plays the same little lick uh, on the the D string, so it's D7 to D9, landing on G7. So, so far we have... And the last note is um, uh, an E note, uh, which is G string ninth fret. So the whole thing slowly. little phrase is a little flick on and pull off uh, on the B string uh, we're on the ninth and tenth frets so firstly we hammer on uh, from uh, 9 to 10 on the B then we hammer on and pull off 9 10 9 on the B and once again we land we resolve that on the E note which is uh, G9, the ninth fret of the G string. So slowly. Next lick. Um, so we're playing G7, G9, down to G4. Next lick. Um, so that's G6 to G4 to G2. Now he plays a similar pattern to what he played up on the um, uh, ninth and tenth frets, only this time we're doing it down on the first and second frets. Uh, we're finding the same notes, so uh, the phrase is this. So that's um, hammer on on the G string from one first fret to second fret. And then hammer on and pull off from one to two to one. And resolve on the uh, E note, which is D string second fret. Okay, um, final lick uh, or, or passage. Um, uh, it's a bit longer this time. Um, goes like this. So that 
that's um, two hits on the open A string. Then we go to A string fourth fret. Um, D string second fret. Then a little hammer on from D2 up to D4. Land on G2. Um, then to G4, which we bend up a step and back down again. It might actually be less of a bow. Um, uh, when I saw him play this live, I saw him do all sorts of different bends and sort of <laughs> octaves and things, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's a, a bend up a full step. It might be a bit less. Then uh, hammer on from two G string to four and slide up to six on the G string, which is a C sharp note. And C sharp should be the relative minor of E. So um, it's all pretty standard stuff within the key of E. Um, and that's uh, where it finishes. And um, it's really one of the best solos uh, I've ever heard. Um, not just Australian, but anywhere. Um, thanks for listening.